Hey, this is Tim Gross from PianoGenius.com, and I am always looking to steal different playing styles anywhere I can get it. And real quick, did you know that Eddie Van Halen, the reason that he wound up having such an unusual guitar playing style was he learned piano first, and then he self-taught himself on guitar. He just learned piano-type approaches to guitar, and that's how he wound up basically inventing a new playing style. Well, with that being said and understood, I feel like it's fair for us as keyboard players to steal from guitar players if they've got something good. Is that fair? Is that a deal? Okay. Uh, the band U2, the, the, the guitar player's name is The Edge, and he has famously said that he's, his goal is to just play a song that, where he only plays one note. And what he means by that is he likes to come up with a couple notes that he plays over and over in a song, and that ideally just one note would be perfection for him. And so that's what we're going to be looking at here, because when, you, when you're when you playing chords, you know, oh, there's one chord, and there's another chord, and there's another chord, and there's another chord. Uh, it sounds pretty boring and amateurish, unless you've really got some interesting playing styles to go along with. But when you're uh, when you've got something ringing up on the top and then changing the chords on the bottom, you can sound much more professional, Much it sounds much more deluxe, okay? So first of all, I'm going to show you the very basics of the playing style of the song With or Without You, and then I'm going to show you how to improve on it and build on it and, and be mellow and then be uh, aggressive and it's going to come out really cool. Okay, so here we go. See the stone beneath the shore That's the whole song. The chords never change. It just starts off mellow and then it builds. So what we're doing is we're playing the one and the five of the C and then we're doing that while we play the G, A minor, and it works. And I'm going to add one more note to that and that is in C it's called a sus2. So the two is one, and then a whole step up is two. So we're going to play these three notes. And what we're going to do is we can go up like that. We can go down like that. We can start like this and just kind of get a pattern like that or something. We can pulse like this. We'll, we'll get into all that. But I just want to show you what it sounds like when you start doing this with the, with the left hand. So here we go. So I'm also playing octaves. I'm going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and in my right hand I'm just doing whatever I want. So way to build towards the end of the song there's a lot more intensity is just to double the speed of the left hand another way to build intensity is to play these two notes at the same time like this one and two and three and four and hey the storm beams the shore gave it all but I want more or individual and the final thing you can do is we're playing one three and five you can play the octave down here as well nose and I kind of like playing both these two at the same time the two and the five see the stone Sounds cool, right? And on top of that you can also play the five note so that's the five 
that's the 5 of the G, it's always the same interval, that's the 5 of the A, that's the 5 of the F, so check this out. See the stone beams the shore. So that's going to take a little bit, you know, to get used to. Any new pattern for me as well, just to let you know, uh, takes a bit. You just got to get used to doing it. But the fact that this is repeating and never changes, you've only got these three notes. Uh, means you're, you know, you're on third base already as far as trying to pull this off. Okay, so two more songs that use the exact same approach. Uh, one of them is called Superman by the band Five for Fighting. It's a really nice song, and again, it starts off really mellow, and then it starts to build. Um, I can't stand to fly the only other chord in it. Wish that I could fly, fall upon my knees, men were meant to live with clouds beneath their knees, more than a bird, I'm more than a plane, I'm more than some pretty face inside a plane, it's not And the third song is uh, Maroon 5, And She Will Be Loved. Um, yeah. I don't mind being every day Like the corner in the pouring rain And she will be loved And she will be loved And again, the song starts mellow, and then towards the end, it's like... down feature if you want to catch each of these things. I'm kind of moving from one thing to the other because, I mean, I'm, I'm compressing a whole lot into this, but this is it. And if anybody cares, the reason these all sound good is that's a C sus 2. When you play a G, that's a C sus 4, which is a very nice sounding chord. When you play the A minor, that's the 3, so you're adding a 4 and it's a minor 7. And then when you play the F, That's the one, that's the five, that's the six, and that's the two. And that all just happens to work. They're all in the scale of each chord. So, so with or without you, with or without you, I'm only a man in a phony red sheet, looking for little girls inside of me, and she will. Another thing I just noticed as I'm doing it, because if you're playing the octaves like this, you, you can also uh, make, of these four notes, you can make this one chord and that one chord. So, and she will be loved, and she will be loved. You wouldn't do it all the time, but it's just one of the things you can jump to.
another thing, this is just fun. This is fun to do. Um, the sounds that you hear as you're playing it are just really enjoyable, and you can approach that idea of, you know, you can experiment. Just pick, pick a, you know, one, two, and five of something, and as you're moving through chords, see if you like it, and you can come up with your own chords, and people are like, wow, you just learned to play piano, and you're, like, playing these these complicated chords, and you're like, sure, if that's what you want to think of them as. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy it. Um, apply it. It'll, it'll, it'll serve you well. And obviously, if you want a whole bunch of other patterns, just uh, check out more YouTube videos of mine or go to pianogenius.com where we've got the mother load of training over there for you. So, you know, hope to see you there. Mm -hmm.